Hey, what's up y'all? It's Tony. Welcome back to my channel. So, I am going to give you some key steps to knowing and ensuring that you are the shiznit. You ready? Here we go. My list. Okay, the first thing you need to do is be nice. Man, I'm telling you, nice goes a long way. I'm not talking about being a doormat or being a pushover. I'm talking about being kind. Please, thank you. You're welcome. The simple things. To me, if you don't do those things, I don't know. I just kind of feel like you're not officially the shiznit. So be nice to people. And sometimes you got to be nice to people that ain't even necessarily that nice to you. Kill them with kindness. It always throws people off like, I got to have a tune. It's like, oh, hey. They don't, they don't know how to deal with that. <laughs> they don't know how to deal with that. Kill them every time with kindness. Be you. Don't be afraid to stand behind what you believe in. Don't be afraid to simply be you. I think people feel like being them is not enough sometimes, especially in the age of social media, even myself. Dang, am I doing enough? Whether that be as a wife, whether it be as a mom, as it be as a single, whatever it is, it's always somebody out there like, putting something out to make you feel like, oh, maybe I ain't killing it as hard as I think I am. But the main thing that you need to do to ensure that you're the shiznit is just be you. You are enough. You will always be enough. If you just simply spend your time and attention being the best you you can be, nobody can compete with that. Nobody can beat you being you, point blank to the period. Be grateful. Be grateful. There are, I'm putting this list out here and these are all things that I have to even check myself on sometimes because I keep going back to social media, but I think that that dictates a whole lot. There's statistics about what people are going through in life based on social media. And it's like, you got, you, you looking at social media all day. So you tend to feel like you're not doing enough. You don't have enough. You haven't been enough places because your friend, after all, is in Tahiti, and don't don't get caught up in that. Don't don't get caught up in that. Um, be grateful for what you have, because guarantee there's somebody out there begging for the life that you feel like is not enough. I, I know it. it is, it's always that way. So be grateful. That's one of the traits that people that are the shiznit have is is gratefulness. A heart of gratitude goes so far. And then I also believe that if you're grateful. God can bless you with more. If you always, if my own kid walking around room is like, I wanted something, I don't want this no more. It's like, dude, not only am I going to take that, I ain't getting you nothing else because you just unappreciative. So you definitely have to exude the traits of a grateful heart. All right. Another thing that is important is the ability to speak up. Speak up. Um, it's sometimes hard if you're not feeling a certain situation or digging a certain situation you gotta say look man i'm cool and we cool and this is but i don't this is feeling weird or this i feel weird about this and then a lot of times when you speak up and you get the whole whatever the situation is you'll feel differently about it but if you just walk away like well i'm not gonna say anything and then you feel offended about something and it's all for nothing when you could just say, look, is it, I felt like this when you said that, is that what you meant? And they go, no, that's not what I meant. I meant A, B, C, and D. And it's like, okay, here I am stressed about something that I was completely wrong about. Speak up and move forward. Petty. You can't be the shiznit and be petty. You just can't do both. I mean, you just can't. Um, all of us have days, myself, some mornings I just wake up like, you know, I'm feeling petty today. I'm feeling whatever. For the most part, I don't do that. Everybody gets a pass, but you only get four petty passes a month. You can't, anything past that is like, like, cause then you just full blown petty. Cause you think, I mean like once a week, four times is like once a week. If you being petty, like more than one, this is like, okay, now you just, now you just full blown petty. You got your petty certificate. You don't want to be petty. Sample of petty. I don't like her. Why? Because I, I, not because I just don't. It's just some about. Girl, just say you think she cute. Petty is understandable if you're like high school, fresh out of high school, even early twenties. But when you get grown, grown, it's like nah, you nah, you gotta cut that out. That's no longer acceptable. You can't be doing that and walking around acting like you shit, isn't it? 
absolutely not. It's unacceptable, okay? Those are the traits that it takes to be the shiznit. You know what? I'm going to give you a bonus one. Here's a bonus one. An exercise for the week. If you see somebody out, another woman, and she's pretty or she's fly, whatever it is, it don't even have to be she pretty. If she, just say a kind word. Sometimes I think that we get caught up I don't know what the deal is, but when I see somebody fly, if I see like a mama that's killing it in the mama game in the grocery store or this well organized or whatever it is that I can see from surface, whether I know her or not, let me tell you something. I'm going to make it a point to go say, you, you, you killing that mama thing. Like, oh, how you say so organized with your kids in the grocery store? Because I'm over here a mess with my kids, with two of them. And you got five. Make somebody's day. It's okay to compliment somebody. It does not... Take anything from a candle to light another candle. So if you as killing as you think you are, or if you the shizzing it like what you think you are or want to be, make sure you compliment others and encourage others. Because sometimes it may be the that thing that helps them get through the day. We're all just trying to like figure it out. You know, we're like, oh yeah, I'm killing it. But then in mind you think, yeah, but I'm really killing it though. Because it's one person welcome to say, you know what, you're doing a good job. And that's, that's that's bomb women are like we just got that thing that can make greatness happen but we have to be willing to share i have a friend who taught me so much in the photography game willing to just give me all the information oh don't do that it's like it helped my business it helped me skip past certain potholes that i didn't even have to it's like girl ain't no point in you doing all that work when i already got the information just greatness shout out to chris armstrong and all of my friends that i call my friends that i hang with are that way so try to surround yourself with women that are the shiznit and start a movement start a movement of women that support and you can't be the shiznit if you ain't doing these things on the list in my opinion now it's a lot of women consider the shiznit because they got chanel bags and they the shiznit too because that's like chanel bomb however you can have all the bags in the world, but if you're a jerk, it just ain't the same. Do a self-check. Are you the shiznit? Are you the shiznit? I am. I feel like I am on most days according to this list. Now, sometimes the petty kick in or sometimes the, you know, every now and then we hit a bump. But it's all good. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you soon. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you soon. All right. Bye.